in another of my spare of the moment half-assed camping trips I've caught the train up to Matlock which is on the uh, southeast side of the Peak District National Park I think <laughs> um, I have no map apart from the one that was in my head that I, I read up on earlier just been to Sainsbury's loaded the beast up with water and um, high energy crap food um, I'm a bit of a lost where to go from here but I'll tell you how bad things are I've actually bought a compass which I don't often take with me but I want to spend a couple of days up in uh, the Peak District National Park just chilling out got enough supplies got some wet weather gear which I'm probably going to need because as I got off the train it was raining the weather's not perfect but I just can't stay in the house any longer I mean it's not intermittent heavy showers and stuff like that tonight's not going to be too bad this is literally the end of the line because the train stops here and looking at this bus stop I don't think I'm going to get a bus to anywhere meaningful so I'm going to tab it I think it's about a mile till I reach to actually get into the park itself which ain't going to be a problem once I find out the exact direction but I do believe it's that way <laughs> But I need to come back here in a couple of days to get the train back down so I need to take compass reading of where this place is and make sure I know where the hell where I'm because it's a big ass park I mean I could easily end up over the north side which will mean a funny bus ride if I can get one so I'm gonna sort myself out and get myself going and get some nice greenery in my life been staring at the four walls all week because the weather's been crap but I refuse I refuse to stay in anymore it's driving me insane so I've got a bit of altitude now looking at Matlock it's in a bowl I thought where I lived in Redditch was in a bowl but Matlock is positively at the bottom of a valley I hope they've got some uh, television repeaters about somewhere or they're not getting free view. I love this time of year. As you can see in front of me is all the hay that they've gathered up and baled. It's quite pleasant at the moment. There is a slight smell of thunder in the air though. <laughs> You've yet to see my... Um, my plastic condom emergency sleeping arrangements maybe tonight I will be going easy on the GoPro though because I want the battery to span the two days I'm up here I must get a, a, a way to sort this out and recharge it while I'm out in the field it's never the, it's never the memory it's always the battery I think if I, if I go careful I should get the two days out of it it's quite disturbing. It's, there's actually a rainbow up there. <laughs> I stormed up the first bit. I've lost so much weight recently. I think I've dropped an extra two stone in the last couple of months. I just keep, keep forgetting to eat. Or I'm eating the right things instead of the bad things. So. And that's really paying dividends. Sun's going down on me rapidly though. So I need to find a place for first night's kip out of the way I don't think there's going to be that many people up here today Beans it is actually a Thursday and not the weekend it's nice to get out in the week for a change it's a lot quieter gaining a bit of altitude now that's Matlock down there that's uh, south towards Birmingham ish And there's the road up. Uh, 
hell is that noise? Oh, it's a model airplane. Oh, it's a drone. Cool. Someone's flying a drone up here. Probably watching me as well. Excellent. I thought it was a big ass bee initially. <laughs> that's no cheap drone either because that's got some altitude. Excellent. I'm filming it. It's probably filming me. So I'm looking for a way to get off this boring ass road. Uh, I mean, it all seems pretty much cultivated land up here. But there's got to be public walks, public footpaths. I mean, next one I see, I should be hopping on it. Um, yeah, I can see the people flying the drone now. They're right up on the peak up there. I want to be over there somewhere. Sorry, over there. <laughs> you can't see the finger when it's behind the uh, camera. It's this restricted byway. Not no motorbills except for access. Uh, it seems to lead up to a farm. There's a farm up there. So I'm going to cut back and I'm going to walk up that road up to where the people are flying the drones and then try and find a way across. I don't really want to go anymore this way because it's dipping down. It's not for me, I like a bit of altitude and it's fucking raining again. <laughs> Whoops, swore. Might have to edit that out. It's really starting to come down now. Ha <laughs> ha! Challenge. Raining here got heavy, so I'm gonna get my coat on and get myself all set for a bit of rain. Speaking a bit, I said I'd take the first public footpath I saw, and I'm, all, I'm on it. Rain's eased off a bit now. It's bloody warm though, which is nice. I know it's all worrying because that could mean a storm. A couple of options, yeah. Got a nice little rocky outcrop there with a bit of tree cover. I also have, which pretty much is a farm out of house, there's nobody living there, but looking at the breaks in the walls, the cows in these fields have access to it, which could be a real pain in the ass late at night, but looking down, yeah, there's nice thick trees, yeah. I'm not done walking though, that's the problem. If this takes me somewhere meaningful, I don't actually feel like I'm in the national park yet. But I've walked far enough and I'm in the right direction, so. It's just too much cultivated land. I'm not used to this. I'm used to nice wide open spaces. I see a wide open space. <laughs> Might start singing properly in a minute, then you're all in trouble. Anyway. Gonna crack on. Look at that moody sky. People over there herding. Sheep or cows? Thanks, cows. Check this place out though. Sweet. I mean, there's quite a few of these little places dotted around. I've slapped him worse. Let's have a quick peek inside. Oh God, I'm not even sure if I'm on a public footpath anymore. I don't really want to bump into those guys over there. Absolute nightmare this place is. Stone Ban. Circa 45 AD. <laughs> Where's the entrance? Well, must have ran the other side, obviously. That would just be stupid, wouldn't it? Not to have an entrance. Ah, there it is, all boarded up like it should be. Quite cute, though. 
See if that was in the middle of London, you could probably sell that for a couple of mil. Right. A very interesting and wet public footpath. Seriously, I didn't realise how waterproof these actually these new caramel boots are. Absolutely sorted. Unfortunately, I'm on another lane. Still no clue. Haha. <laughs> right. Still a couple of hours of night daylight left though. So I'm not really asked at the moment. Even though the GoPro is looking a bit weak with the light. So I'm gonna walk for a while. Probably get some music on in a bit. Missed that today. And, uh, ooh, that's my next house. Fixer upper. Actually, that's quite cool. <laughs> yeah, let's see where I end up. I'm on a night shift at the moment because I can't sleep. I sleep in the day and I'm up all night, so. I could probably walk all night and it wouldn't bother me. And I'll keep most of tomorrow away in some ditch somewhere out of the sun I'll be a happy bunny strange life I know but what can you do it's starting to get dark now this grass is just getting longer and longer so there's a peak up there with a nice group of trees on it which appears to be away from pretty much everything because there's a farmhouse just over there there's one just down there. Occupied farmhouse. There's sheep up there now, which will kick off when I walk through. But they shouldn't hear that, so... I'm going to find myself a little spot for the night. And tomorrow, I'm going to go over there. Somewhere. Plenty of bats up here. Well, they mean whales. Anyway, I'll crack on, find a spot. Bed down, chill out. Have something to eat, because I'm bloody hungry. A bit of a sweat on as well. Never good. Don't like that. <laughs> now this finally feels like open land. Nice, fat, well-used walkways running through it decently fenced off walled off from all the farmers land around it generally unkept which is good for me I seem to be coming up to a peak and the wind is coming from that direction so I get up too far. I'm gonna have to deal with that all night. Unfortunately, most of the trees around here are just crappy, stingy grief bushes, as I like to call them. I want a decent tree. Ah, oh, and the bonus is it's mostly a clear sky, which means to see the stars. Sweet. I'm going to give this another 20 minutes and I'm going to pick the best spot. It's nice not to be hopping over these uh, walls. Oh, you are joking. It's got a public footpath sign. Oh. Right into another bloody farmer's field. It's going to be a long night. Okay, here we go. Just walked up the... It's probably one of the most disused bridle paths I've ever seen. I found myself a tree. I thought it was an oak initially, but it's not. It's a... It's a beech tree, which will do. A bit of cover if it rains. There's no stingies down. It's 
reasonably flat. There's actually quite quite a nice hollow there, which will do me. And I'm hidden from every road I can see this time of night. Shiny. What a sweet hotel. It'll do. Oh, I'm so dreading the rain tonight. I'll get my uh, emergency plastic condom out just in case. Just trying to work out what the, the city lights are I can see down there. Where am I? It's too big for Derby. It could be Derby actually. Yeah, it probably is. About that distance. But it's got a nice bit of elevation, so i chill out. Have a beer, get my radios out, have a play, and I've something to eat because I'm starving. I'm too busy looking for a place to camp. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to find out what the hell's going on and where I am. Right, all squared away. Let's rate this spot. Leyland are a well developed birch tree, which will offer some protection from the rain if it does kick off and give me enough warning to get into the emergency uh, bivvy. No stingies under this tree, which is nice. I haven't had to clear much away. It's dry. I'm sort of on the almost on the summit of the hill, so there's a bit of wind, but not too much, and the boundary wall behind me is catching most of it. Um, downsides are the uh, field next door is full of skittish sheep, so I can't make too much noise, because it kicked off when I walked up here. They've calmed down now. But I am downwind from them, so that helps a little bit. There is a farmhouse, as best I can describe it. About probably about 600 yards away. But they're uh, using a jenny for power. So unless they've got a radio or the TV on, all they can hear is the generator, which is good. Nobody's going to be coming up that track in anything other than a motorcycle because it's that bad. And I'm hidden from that as well. So I think this is good. I mean, I, I was going to go for a, a grief tree earlier because I was, as it was getting dark. But I think uh, I think I lucked out. Yeah, held out for it. I prefer an oak tree because they're. They're a lot more, if it rains, they, they tend to catch a lot more of it before it hits you. But this birch tree should do fine. I don't know what time it is. It's been dark for uh, two hours now, so uh, it's probably approaching about, what, 11, 12-ish? I'm wide awake. I need to get a few hours tonight because I've got things I need to do tomorrow. I do some more wandering around and wondering where the hell I am. <laughs> ah, but it is nice. It's a nice night. If it stays like this, it'll be sweet. Looking at the weather, there should be a little rain towards dawn. But I don't think it's going to be too bad. It might be the odd nasty downpour throughout the night, but I got the gear to manage that, so I'm not asked. Yeah. I'd love to get the radio on and have some music going but I don't think the sheep will appreciate it and if they turn their journey off down there and try to get some sleep and the sheep are going for it all night then they're going to come wandering aren't they and it sort of takes away from the stealth wild camping bit so I'll just get the headphones on and chill out for a while you get to see this spot in the morning. Woke up to an half decent day. Not bad. Last night was a little bit lively. It's 
spot was all right though. I got the uh, the waterproof stuff out just in case because it did uh, rain a little bit last night, so it saved my uh, sleeping bag from getting wet. But I ain't hanging around this morning. I'm gonna get my stuff together and get out of here before somebody comes walking around. I found my way onto a, a pretty well used uh, bridle path, walkway. Look at this view. I'll check the compass in a minute, but I think I'm pretty much going in the right direction. I want to go over that way somewhere. First things first, I'm going to make use of this wall. Sit down change my crappy socks so I end up with some trench foot sort my pack out so I left the campsite in a bit of a rush this morning because I didn't know whose land I was on always best get some food in me and then work out what I'm going to do with the day which will probably involve a lot of walking Gotta strip some of these layers off as well. The sun's getting up and it's killing me. The layers I put on last night for sleeping. It was a good night's sleep. I really, really enjoyed that one. It was nice, comfortable. I, I managed a good few hours, which is nice. I have no idea what time it is. I haven't got a phone on me. Well, I have, but it's off. I can't be asked to turn it on. I'd probably say it's about eight. 8 o'clock, something like that, looking at where the sun is. So, let's get myself sorted. And then, uh, crack on. Ah, there's nothing like a pair of fresh socks in the morning. Right. Got my bearings. Took a compass reading. That's where I came from. So, I'm going to go that way. There is a television mast up there. So as long as I keep that to my right, then I'm in the right direction. It says. Uh, I just put the radio on. It's uh, 20 past 8. Listening to the news about what happened in Spain and all the terrorist attacks. And it makes me glad that I'm up here out of the way of it all. Had a bit of breakfast, peanuts and chocolate, yum. <laughs> so I'm ready to go now, all set. A nice day's walking. I mean, the weather looks nice, it's a bit windy. I just hope it stays reasonable, because I really want to spend another night up here. Later on in the day, I'll uh, check the news for the weather, see if there's anything disastrous gonna happen. But if not, then, uh, a whole nice day's walking ahead of me and then find another place to sleep tonight. Hopefully a little bit better than last night's. Damn, this place is pretty. Check that out. There's, I think there's a kestrel up there looking for food. And I am on a real bad road for walking. As long as I'm careful, I'll be okay. I got all day, so I'm not in any rush. Just listening to the weather tonight, it doesn't sound that good. So I'm planning to find a disused building or somewhere where I can hold up for the night. Problem is, if I come across one early on, then I have to stay there where I really, really fancy a good walk today. But yeah, the ground's looking better. I mean, it's there's more opportunities to sleep. A nice section of woodland down there as well. That looks really sweet. All the way over there. I wonder if I can walk through that. Might try and get across there in a bit. And I, I like a little woodland walk in the summer. 
we're cooking now. I stumbled into a beautiful little town, Winster. Uh, the one shop was like everything, post office, and they sold coffee. So I've had a cup of coffee, which has done wonders. And I picked up this. Yeah, map, I know. But I'm stumbling around here. I've never walked into the park before. So now I know exactly where I'm going. So there's no excuses. I'm going to make my way up to the Big Moor. Which is... Uh, six or seven miles, something like that. The weather's holding really nice. Uh, clouds starting to build up a little bit, but it's still warm and sunny. I have my doubts about if you're sleeping up on the moor as there's generally no cover but I've spent eight, eight hours in my emergency bivvy before when I walked the coast so a couple of hours overnight won't bother me too much and if it rains really hard I'll do a little filming so you can hear how bad it sounds it sounds like somebody's throwing gravel at, at you when you're trying to sleep. It's, it's so loud. It's unbelievable. So, yeah. And considering I slept out last night, I feel really good. So, it just goes to show that I did sleep really well. I only require a few hours a night these days, anyway. So, as long as I get that, I'm all good. And the coffee's now cursing through my veins. And I feel bossed in. Ha <laughs> ha. Right. Armed with me map. A new sense of purpose. Let's get it going. This is one of the trail walks through Clough, Clough Wood. And it's nice. It's a nice walk. Nice wide pass, well this section at least. Got a few scratches from nettles earlier. But yeah, it's a uh, it's beautiful, beautiful walk. Probably got to do about, what, a mile and a half of this before I get back onto the road. Because I have to cross the, uh, I think it's the Derwent. Pretty sure it is. And uh, I can make him my way towards the nearest bridge. I can get over that because I ain't in the mood for a swim and I've seen it it's manky <laughs> I don't really want to get in there how much do the kids do in the summer though ah it's nice and cool in here trees blocking out most of the sun still got a sweat on though because I am rushing a little bit because it's 12 o'clock now and I've still got a fair way to go so I got about 8 hours of sunlight plenty of time he says I'm going to have to stop and have something tidy to eat in a bit there is a load of a big built up area probably with a few shops Get fish and chips or something that'll see me through just hid under a big tree to avoid a rather nasty shower typical British summer shower which would have drenched me in a couple of minutes if I hadn't got out of it <coughs> I'm now on the bridal way to Tinkle, Tinkle Sale something like that I've got to say there's some cracking woodland walks around here and some really nice bridal ways places riddled with them Stunning. Actually making good time. It's only one o'clock-ish. And I've covered a fair bit of ground. I've got out of all the squiggly road crap. And I'm into all the greenery now. So much more enjoyable. This is a nice wood. Got the usual kiddie swings there with the blue council rope. Excellent, I remember that. Right, time to get going. I hope this end all up, Bill. 
looks it. It's starting to rain again. And I can hear thunder. So we're in for a storm. Can't really smell it though. I definitely heard it. It's quite a way off yet. Hopefully, this cloud's sort of going that way. I'm probably only going to catch the tail end of that. Let's see if I can uh, find some cover. I'm in a lot around here. I hate to say it, but I'm calling game over on this one. I just spent the last 10 minutes with my back to what was very painful hailstones. The weather's getting increasingly freakish. And everywhere is soaking. The ground is soaking. I don't think I'm going to find a dry place to put my head down tonight. And listening to the radio, the weather's just going to be shocking. I don't mind a bit of hardship, but it's just not going to be fun. You can see the back of my jeans absolutely soaking now. So I'm going to do a bit of road walking, get to the nearest populated centre, get a bus back into Matlock and get the train home. Because I'm not enjoying myself now. It's spending most of my time dodging the rain. Which is never good. Shame. It's such a beautiful area. And now if I could walk around and I know where I am more, I will be back. But next time when the weather's better. So, I'm going to get going. Before it starts raining again. So I'd share this with you. Luckily I'm in a bus stop. I think I'm going to go home. What size are some of those things? Now that would have hurt. 